Relax, everybody. It's okay. It's not my intestines in a pie crust. It's very close, but it's not. It's my dinner. That's an Australian pie. I finally found a place in uh, Austin that makes them, and I can buy them and take them home, cook them up. So what I wanted to do, and I'm going to take a break from our uh, experience at Operation Flashpoint and talk about the uh, Napoleonic Brigade System or the Napoleonic Battle System or whatever the hell series you want to call it. And uh, I'm uh, actually I'll look so I'm looking at this map and I'm going to try and use concealed movement. So what I want to do is I uh, printed out the uh, concealed movement counters and just have a look at how they work. If I post up uh, commentary and polls, you would be able to drive the movement of the units. And we only have a couple of uh, counters to, to take care of. So for instance, if we're going to move the Russian guard, oh, that's excellent, you can see that. See my body, not my head. Uh, anyway, move the Russian guard, I've got, uh, well, that's a, I've got a brown county here that I, I made up. Uh, for the Russian Guard, and we could tell it to go A, B, C, D direction. It doesn't really matter about any of that, that's just historical set of positions. Um, and then as we move, we can pop decoys out, and once we pop decoys out, then it becomes interesting. So I, uh, I will also I will try and work out some means for which we can decide when we want to pop decoys, and I've already written up what the actual plans are up here for each formation and what they're supposed to do and I've given them an alternative set of commands as well and so we have an A and B option. So with an A and B option I'm thinking come the time either we roll a die and make that the actual plan whether it's you know one, two or three or four, five or six and that's where the units will be, or not. And uh, the great thing about this battle, uh, it's Austerlitz, you know, there's 80 some thousand guys on each side in the combat, in the scenario, but there was fog until at least 9.30, possibly 10 o'clock. So we have got this uh, whole map, very hilly, and there's a big hill here, this is Pratsen here. And here's the Pheasant Garden, and Telnitz is down here, but uh, and Santon Hill is here. So we've got this whole area is covered in fog. So none of these units, the French uh, cavalry and the Imperial Guard, none of that can be seen. And these guys are over here. It's going to be really cool. So I'm I'm hoping that uh, you guys will get excited about this and help me play it, and you make the call on it, and I'll just uh, I'll do the stuff. I'll do all the hard work, roll the dice. Try and not make too many rules mistakes. It doesn't matter anyway, because you know, no one's making any more of these games, so we can do whatever we want. All right, that's what I'm thinking. You don't like that? Tell me. <laughs>